Okay, in the lockdown, and we are looking toward the northwest, and I hope that I can see the Venus. It should be somewhere here at the center. I don't see it, so uh, I hope these clouds will be moving, shifting, so we can have a chance of seeing it. That cloud there, I think that's the one which cloud, uh, covering the Venus. And uh, oh, the wind, close the window. Hallelujah, it became clear. Um, I could see the planet Venus, if I find it again. I saw it with the binoculars. Okay, I'm using the Sky Watcher Evo Star 90mm refractor, very good refractor, clear of chromatic aberration with a Teleview 40mm eyepiece. Let's see how it looks. The image quality of refractor, this refractor is amazing. It's almost like an apochromatic. I don't see any aberration anywhere. So I come back now and that was amazing view. Beautiful. Beautiful view. Yeah, you can see the star now, the sorry, the planet Venus. That's in the center of the image where the pigeon was going down part of it. Yeah. Let me just use another eyepiece. Okay, I'm now using the butter uh, Morpheus. Uh, six and a half millimeter eyepiece. The image quality now a little bit deteriorates because of the atmosphere, and you can see. Okay, the wind is so uh, strong that all the time closes the window. But the image quality, I must say that with the, this Morpheus is similar to my orthoscopic. The clear clarity, very good, sharp uh, image. Uh, what you saw in my camera, because it's automatic, uh, I can adjust it, hold it at the same time and adjust everything and find the looking point for in the camera, uh, in the eyepiece, is difficult. But if I could adjust it the way that I can see, you could see that it's so, such a fine, um, slender crescent and it is, it's very vibrating because of the turbulence in the atmosphere, but that's, that's very interesting. Look at the window, what it's doing with the telescope. As you can see the clouds have came back, that was on top of that chimney at the center of the image. If I was going here, now center, should have been there, the planet Venus. I didn't see Mercury tonight, so I'm a bit disappointed, but that's, that's life, you, you, you lose, you win. So I hope that cloud is moving away. Let me just take a time lapse. Okay, my video showed that the clouds are moving this way toward me, but toward the uh, right of me. So there is a chance that that clear patch will be here in a few minutes. And up, if I look above this chimney, which is here, my finger pointing to it, covering it now, I will see. And if the window lets me know. The planet set so fast, just in a few minutes, Okay, I've observed it with this highest magnification ever I had. That's a 2mm LE sculpture eyepiece. And the planet Venus is almost, yeah, you can see beside that leaf. And to the right of the crane. So quick it came from there to here. Oh, I'm wondering time so quickly shows the time so quick passes you can see the crescent probably in this video even so hopefully you can see so mercury uh, the planet venus is just at the chimney line the leaves are covering it at the center And what I think about this uh, 
Star Watcher Evo Star 90mm F910 uh, oh, telescope. Okay, I have a few telescopes. I can say that this is one of the good ones, one of the best ones, and one of the cheapest ones. You can buy it second hand as low as you know 50, 30 pounds sometimes. A new one is around 100 pounds, so even that one is cheap. But you get it with all the belts and whistle, all the tripod and the mount and everything. So it's a good value for money. I actually recommend this. This is a good telescope. I totally recommend it. If, if anybody wants to start astronomy, this is a good telescope. 